one look that I love to wear for work, for special occasions, or just for any day. This bun is so perfect for the fall time, only because it helps to tuck in those ends, keeps your hair protected. So if you guys are interested in this really classy, high bun look, keep on watching. So this is what I have to work with. Um, my hair's pretty much been stretched. I had a twist out, and then I pretty much brushed out that twist out and left it in a ponytail. And then once I took it out the ponytail, it was kind of like a sh really stretched twist out. Then I brushed it out again, and this is what I have. My hair is already moisturized, and I put a little bit of oil to seal it. And um, what you want to do is kind of just gently detangle your hair. So I'm going to get a really big comb with wide teeth, and I'm just going to gently detangle my whole head. And I use my fingers just to rake the hair like that in that sort of motion and that really helps to gather all the hair together. You could smooth it out with a brush later but your fingers are your best tools. So I'm just going to keep on raking my hair back. I like my buns. They sort of always typically go right here. Always. I like the way that the bun looks because you can sort of see it from the front but it's not too high up. So that's the style that I normally always go for. Okay, so I like to leave these little pieces kind of stray. I think it adds character. <laughs> and I'm just going to get a brush like this. And I'm just going to gently smooth the hair back into that ponytail. So once you have your ponytail as smooth as you want it, this is where you can add gel. You can add a little bit of oil for shine, but I think I'm good at this point. I kind of like to leave it sort of soft. So... Then you're going to get an elastic. Now this one has none of that metal grip. It's just all elastic all around, which is really good because the metal grip sometimes rip your hair out. So this doesn't snag or tangle in your hair. I'm going to take one of these, and this one's black. And I'm going to securely tie this around my hair. I want to make sure that it's really in there. What I like to do is just find a middle point of all this hair. So that way it's evenly distributed. So we have some in the front, some hair in the back, and then some in the sides like that. So we have a middle point. Now sometimes when I'm really in a hurry, I like to just grab, sort of flatten the hair out. And then with my two fingers, I like to just grab and pull upwards like that. But I'm not going to do that today because I really want to get it big and fluffy. And the best way to do that is to use pins and secure the hair into sections. So I'm going to start in the front. And I'm going to take a little piece. Well, not really little, but... So about this size is what you want. Like that. And then you can brush it just to smooth it out. And then what you do, sorry I got a kneel now, <laughs> so what you got to do is just, you're going to take the hair, you're going to pull it forward, and then you're going to tuck the ends under, like this, and then you have like a little roll. So I don't know if you can see that, and I'll move to this side, so you can see that sort of little roll that's happening. When you do that, you want to get a little pin and then just secure that roll down onto your hair. So you have one roll, just like that. You can see. Now you're gonna do that all the way around. So you're gonna grab the next section. And you're gonna comb that out, or brush it out, either way. Then you wanna tuck under, like this. And then you're going to get a pin. You're just going to secure that down. I'm going to get sectioned to the other side. So that way when I tuck it under, just like that, I'm going to have a little roll. And you have one more section left. So I did one, two, three, four. Um, the back I'm not very worried about. So this section can be a little larger. 
and the smaller the sections are, definitely the more precise your bun is going to be. So now you can see you have gaps, all these little gaps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pins, a couple more pins just to secure the gap together so that way you don't, you can't see any joints. So I just grab a little hair from this section and a little hair from that section with a pin. And I'm going to just join that. You see, so now you don't really have that weird gap right there. And I like the way it looks sort of like layered. You get what I mean? Like it, some parts go this way, some go that way. I think that's what adds the texture and the uniqueness of it. And I think that's why I normally get questions because <laughs> it just looks so cool. It's not like a uniform, you know, donut looking bun. So now for this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Grab some hair from here and then a little hair from this section. So you can leave it just as is. I love it like this. Um, you can add a little bit of gel to your edges, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges Pomade. I'm going to use a small amount of that just to get my edges really nice and slick. Now you can add a little hairspray just to tie the look together, make sure that you don't have any flyaways, but I'm not going to do any hairspray. I never usually do, just because I kind of like that sort of worn look. But yeah, if you want hairspray, it'll help it last all day. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, bye!